Well, hello, farm and friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And today, just a quick video updating a mod that we reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is that Strotman um, Lime Spreader that Turbo had modded, the uh, 3401, uh, where he took the uh, stock manure spreader and turned it into a lime spreader. There were a couple of things that I had just pointed out in in the video about the uh, the mod that uh, basically m mainly dealt with the store and things that were wrong in the store uh, with it and turbo did see the video and actually took those changes to heart made them and has a new version out version 2 which uh, I haven't had a chance to get as dirty um, but He's made some changes. I thought I'd go ahead and showcase these for you guys. First of all, in the store, uh, it's now properly listed in the fertilizer spreaders. And it will be uh, by Turbo version 2. And he's corrected all of the text in here. So you have um, the maintenance. Let me get on the right one. You've got your daily maintenance, your cost capacity working with now properly displays 15 meters and then a nice little usage down here that talks about it's a lime spreader so uh, very nice props to him for doing that the other thing that he went ahead and did and uh, didn't didn't you know I mentioned maybe a little a little mud and a little lime on the tires he actually went and added that in so you get a little bit of dirt a little bit of lime on the tires when you're doing this uh, whereas before you were just getting the dirt on the tires very cool that he did that. Uh, the hub color is now black on here. And uh, very cool as well. So yeah, you can still customize it. You can still change the rim colors. I prefer just to use the stock white. And um, one last change that he did on there is he's changed the ratio on the spreading. Um, and, and I'll show you what I mean in this because I've got two different versions here ready to fire up and run. And this is the uh, this is the original version. And we're going to take it over here and we're going to run uh, one or two passes and, with each. And I'm just going to show you what he has changed. We'll start with the original version one of this. And I'll bring it over here and... GPS is set up so it makes it a lot easier for me to do this so I'll lock that in spread out just a little bit so you can watch it do its thing so we'll go ahead and turn it on here we'll go ahead head on out and as you notice it's going to take quite a bit of our lime out as we spread but man, you get such a good coverage on it. It's very nice. And I love having that white lime on the ground. So if you had really acidic soil, you'd be doing this in real life anyways. So I'll do a couple of passes and then we'll compare the usage of this spreader uh, versus version 2. And basically what he's done is he's gone in and he's changed the ratio of output to be somewhat more in line with what the fertilizer spreader in game is uh, where he was originally using the manure spreader ratios um, which basically I was getting two rows on this field before I would have to go fill it up if I do a turn around here and I'm not going to worry about missing a spot. Just going to keep going. So I'm already about 70% used on this. As you can see the numbers just ticking down. By the time I get to the end of the row I'm going to be you know probably uh, somewhat 40% full maybe 50% full somewhere in that area so it really does consume quite a bit of lime in the original version which I was fine with uh, I did mention that it would take you about 
four truckloads to do this entire field. Um, but, yeah. Some things he has changed in this. Alright, so we get to the end of this field. I'll shut her off. And we're at 18.6 uh, is what we've got left over. So we'll move this guy out of the way. And we'll jump out and grab the other version with the JCB on it. And we'll fire it up and head on, do our thing. Alright, so let's lock that in, start her up, and again, you get the same animation, the same coverage. But it just seems like he has geared it down so it doesn't spread as much and take as much uh, out for you at per time. Or per pass, I guess. Seems like it's more in line with a uh, with a fertilizer spreader than the um, than the manure spreader, which is good. So it won't take you as many as many passes to do a field. You might be able to do this now in maybe two truckloads versus. Um, using four it's not a major tweak that he's done but he has tweaked it just slightly uh, so you don't use them as nearly as much so we made that pass I'm at 91% uh, on my remaining reserve whereas earlier it took me down to 71% and the capacity is still the same, still 35,000 liters uh, when you go ahead and fill up. So it's not that he's changed the capacity, he's just changed the gears, uh, you know, the, the amount coming out of the, of the spreader to be more in line with what the fertilizer would be. which is nice because you'll be able to get more work done in a shorter distance of time uh, seeing as you won't have to go and refill the truck every two passes uh, through the field which is is a very cool to have all right so we'll get to the end of the field here we'll stop and we'll compare the numbers And we're at 28.946 on version 2, which that's a, that's a huge difference there. Uh, one's at 53%, the other is at 82%. Uh, so as you can see, quite a bit of change in the, in the uh, amount of outflow on the back of the trailer. But you still get your coverage, and uh, you know, you're still going to get your crops. You're just not going to be putting out as much lime which is a good thing so you'll be able to get probably almost a I don't know half of this field done maybe um, you might be able to get the whole field done with uh, one trailer I'm guessing you probably have to use two trailers though on this one so um, not bad at all and um, yeah that's it that's pretty much it in a nutshell I uh, just wanted to update you on that though version 2 is out uh, you need to download uh, the new version. You will need to, if you've already installed the uh, version 1 and are using that, you'll need to delete it and um, delete the original mod because version 2 is going to uh, come itself uh, and be a standalone. So you'll end up with two different lime spreaders uh, if you don't delete the original. So... 
uh, before you go take the original out of your mods folder make sure you delete it from your game save uh, that way you won't be uh, trying to load in a map without the mod in the folder so delete the delete version one get version two in there for you and then um, Go, then you can take version 1 out and remove it from your mods folder. Uh, if you haven't done the install on this yet, make sure that you um, read the directions within the folder. You do have to put a field planes folder in your, in your farm simulator game folder, which is different from where your mods are. Uh, so you'll need to put that field planes in, watch the video on how to do that. Um, and then, you know, go ahead and put the mod for the the actual spreader into your mods folder so there's two folders you have to move in just make sure you read the video or read the information and watch the video of how to do the install and uh, you'll have no problems with it cool lime spreader hope you liked it guys um, and that's it for today hope you enjoyed this little update uh, until next time i'm mr moose stay safe have a great day and i'll see you soon Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.